Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nana City Apron. Today I'm going to make Mediterranean style chicken. Sounds good, doesn't it? Wait till you see. Okay, I have some uh, chicken that I've been marinating in some Italian seasoning. And I've got some green onions, some spinach, and I have some uh, Julianne cut sun-dried tomatoes. And that's what we're going to start with. So, in my skillet, I'm going to add just a little bit of oil, and I'm going to go ahead and cook the chicken. Just over medium heat. Let that heat up just a minute. And then we're going to put our chicken in there. Let's go ahead and put these in. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit though. There you go. And we're going to let this chicken cook until it browns. And then the, on the one side, then I'll flip it over, get it cooked through on the other side. Then we'll continue on. pot of water I'm going to put on to boil for our pasta and this is some tomato bouillon that I'm going to put in the water over here for the pasta not much left in there that is empty <laughs> Here's what we have. And I did go ahead and put some garlic powder in there too. Now we're going to remove the chicken from the pan and just set it off to the side and let it rest a little while. Uh, we're, we're going to put it back in the skillet soon. So. We're just going to let it sit over here and rest. And the next thing we're going to do is add our vegetables to this oil. Now if you're using the uh, sun-dried tomatoes that come in the oil, oil packed, then uh, you know if you want that added flavor, use the oil from the jar that you, that you get those from. That would definitely give it an additional punch for sure. But uh, this is the avocado oil that I'm using here. And uh, there we go. And I think I'm going to add just a little more. There we go. About a tablespoon more. And of course, over in our pan, I'm still waiting on the water to start boiling so I can put the pasta in. But we're going to go ahead and put the spinach in there and cook it down as well. Turn down my heat a little more. You can go ahead and make your own Alfredo sauce if you want to do that, but uh, today I'm actually going to use a jar sauce. This one is a four cheese sauce. Feel it. 
that sauce in there. the uh, top parts of the green onion. I'm going to slice that up and we'll use that uh, to put on the top of our dish when we're finished cooking it. And I did salt my pasta water by the way, in case you were wondering. Let's put a little pepper on this, a little cracked pepper. Not too much though. And here in just a few minutes, we're going to add the uh, chicken back to this pan. It's really smelling good, guys. Really smelling good. Now, we're going to keep this turned down on low. And I'm going to add the chicken back into this. Let it absorb a lot of these delicious flavors. I'm going to put just a little bit of oil in this pasta water too. Um, because I don't want it to stick together, and that does help. You can put oil or a little butter, whichever one you want. Now let's turn this down some more. And uh, we're just gonna keep it on low. Wipe my mess up. Cover up our chicken with some of these vegetables so it continues to get the delicious taste of all of those. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta to this water. I will. I know. Uh, a lot of people don't break their pasta, but see I'm using a small pan. I really want to break my pasta. And this is a thin spaghetti, and uh, this actually, this spaghetti actually has added protein to it. So we're gonna put that in there and get it cooking. I'm going to set a timer so I don't overcook this pasta. Again, this is a very thin pasta. I really don't want to overcook it. And uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to go with six minutes on our pasta. While our chicken is cooking, I am going to go ahead and slice it up just a little bit so that it's going to be easier to plate. After this pasta completes its cooking, I will drain it and then we'll plate. Again, you can make your own Alfredo sauce. Um, heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, yeah, that's, and pepper and some salt, that's about it really. Don't over salt it because it has the Parmesan cheese in it though. But, uh, look at that. Looking pretty good, huh? Time to plate it up.
chicken on here. And then we're going to add some of this sauce to it to put on those noodles. Time to get Tom in here. Oh, well, let's not forget, I get a plate too. And let's not forget, <laughs> let's not forget some more of this delicious sauce. Now the sauce turns colors like that because of the tomatoes, if you were wondering. You notice it started out white, but it's yellowish color now. That's why. Okay. And of course you can top it with a little more cheese. I think I'll, I'll probably top mine with just a little more Parmesan. Okay. Piece of this cut off here to get some of everything in one bite. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, look, he just grabbed a bite of it. <laughs> And probably needed a napkin. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know we don't typically eat uh, cooked spaghetti. Uh, cooked. I know we don't typically eat cooked spinach. But what do you think about that sauce with the spinach in it? That's amazing. I love that. You like? Yeah, it? it's really, really good. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna awesome. some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, there you go. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Hope you'll click the subscription button as well as the notification bell. And click and give me a thumbs up. That's a like for me, and I would appreciate it if you could do that. You all take care. Uh, I think we're going to finish eating now. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.